typical shoulder workout uh, that I perform in my home gym. Shoulders is a muscle group that I absolutely hate to train. I've never been strong and I've never had a nice mobility with the shoulders. It doesn't feel natural, so we'll see how it goes. I like to start off with incline press to get the chest mobilised and then slowly work into to the overhead military press to actually get the meat of the anterior head of the deltoid. So come with me and I'm going to show you me uh, work out line for line. Although I'm training shoulders today, I'm starting off with an incline press primarily to get the shoulders gently primed as well as still work the upper chest. The upper chest seems to be the weakest part of the upper body for most people, especially in the chest. People like flat bench press, like dips, like flies, which are very acidic and heavy on the mid and lower part of the chest. You only have two parts of the chest, the upper and lower. However, you can get more definition in the lower from your dips and your bench press. But incline press is great for upper chest, and it's also, I'd say, my favorite variation of any type of bench press, uh, which is really odd because I hate shoulders, and this is more deltoid focused than a flat bench. Um, my favorite of all time is probably the incline Smith machine press because you can really squeeze at the top and you're very safe, you don't need a spotter but also you've got constant range of motion, constant tension. So I'll do a few reps for a warm up, this is just an empty 20 kilo bar, um, shoulder width uh, grip. I used to go very wide, however this put too much strength, there's too much stress on the shoulders so I'll just go down, really nice stretch and I like to just roll the bar in this position, helps the grip warm up, helps the shoulders all the way down to the bottom of the chest to the top and just pressing up. Just feeling the bar, feeling the weight really, getting warmed up. And I'll just press for a few reps here, you know, not really showing you what the form looks like, but at the top really squeezing and it feels good today. The chest is activated already after the push-ups I've just done. The shoulders are slowly warming up as well. This is just here for a pump really, getting the, the body used to everything. Okay, getting the shoulders ready. So we'll get some weight on and we'll see how it's done. Exercise number two is the military press, the overhead shoulder press. Now, as you can see, the bench isn't perfectly at 90 degrees. The reason why is I find that having just a slight incline helps to get more stretch on the bottom of the press, as well as allowing me to lift just a little bit more, and also for mobility reasons. So I'll have a quick warm-up set. Nice shoulder width uh, grip. Really squeeze at the top, down, nice stretch, and up like a piston, really good range of motion. No stopping, no starting, just nice, equal range of motion, get the blood pumping. What you don't want to do with the shoulder press is just pause at the top. A lot of pressure and don't lock out, there'll be too much pressure on your joints. Stopping at the bottom is alright, you're getting a good stretch, however just keep that repetition going. For this exercise I like to go for reps rather than maximum weight, whereas a squat and a deadlift I like to go quite heavy, go for 5-6 reps. But with a shoulder press I like to go 10 reps, sometimes more, as long as it's comfortable. That's the main thing, as long as it feels good and it's comfortable, you'll have a good pump and you'll build some good muscle. Exercise number three is the lateral raise. I like to do them seated. It allows you to stop cheating the weight. So you lift a lot lighter, but you get a better contraction, I reckon. It's more controlled. And I'll superset this with the front raise. The reason I'm supersetting it, not only does it make the workout slightly shorter, but you get a much more tremendous pump. So set one of exercise number three. Set across the bench, like this way, the dumbbells underneath you. Rip them out. Ten reps. Then front raises.
The final exercise is for the traps, these big muscles here that connect all the way from the bottom of the spine up through the neck into the skull. So they're a huge muscle from the lower to the mid to the upper trap. Now this will work the upper trap as well as a bit of the let, um, traps as well as a bit of the neck as well. So I'm going to get two 20 kilo plates. I'll stand shoulder width apart, really grip them tight to whip the forearms and squeeze, and squeeze. Oh, as if you're trying to touch your shoulders with your, with your shoulders. And this will really build a really dense upper body. The more bent over you go, the harder it is, but the more mid trap and the more rear deltoid it works as well. But the purpose of today, I'm going to stick to just normal upper traps. Oh, don't worry about a slight bend in your elbow. Oh. 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 Put them down a minute. So the trap is a great exercise. You'll fill the traps during deadlifts, bent over rows, and any great picking up exercise like an upright row. Very, very, very good for functional strength. So if you wanted to increase the deadlift, definitely get onto shrugs. So I'm not going to show you the rest of my workout for, the, for them. It's pretty self-explanatory. So thank you so much for tuning in today. Do like and subscribe. Well, that was a general outline of my shoulder workout. Thanks for watching.